In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create an Activision account, which you can use in Call of Duty, Vanguard, Warzone, all those games, especially when you want to play cross-platform. So for this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to do it on the web interface, on a web browser. So what you need to do is open your favorite browser and go to activision.com. Activision.com, there you go. It's simply activision.com. And then on this page, you want to go to sign up in the upper right side. And then on the sign up page, you want to fill in your details. Of course, starting with your personal email address. And make sure you use an email address you have access to because you might need to verify some stuff. So go ahead and enter your email address. And then retype the email address in the next text box. And then click on sign up. On the next page, you want to start entering your Activision profile details. So the first one is Activision ID, or basically just your Activision username. This is supposed to be unique. And if you click on this little question mark on the side, it tells you your Activision ID is what is displayed in game for Modern Warfare. It also says display names must be between 2 and 16 characters with no special characters. Unicode characters are supported. So go ahead and enter your Activision ID. And then enter your first name and your last name. And then once again, click on next. In this next page, enter your birth date, starting with the month, and then the date, and then the year. Next, choose your location, and then click on next. Now, in this next page, you need to now create a password for your Activision account. And of course, you can click on here once again to check the criteria for the password. So 8 to 30 characters must contain at least one letter and one number, may not contain sequential characters, e.g. 1, 2, 3, 4. Also, may not repeat the same character. And also use a unique passphrase such as a sentence for this account that is not shared with any other account. Alternatively, if you click in there, you can get a suggested password from Activision. So I'll choose to have this one and have it saved on my browser. And then make sure you check on this box and this other one to accept the terms of use. And then of course you need to confirm that you're not a robot. And with all that done, click on next. Now at this point, the Activision account has already been created and you can go ahead and connect it to your PSN account or your Xbox or Microsoft account or battle.net account if you want to. Now that mainly depends on what platform you're trying to use to play the game you're playing. But at this point, the Activision account is already created. Now there's one last thing you need to do. Go to the email account of the email address you provided and verify your account. So once you go to the email account, you should find an email from Activision Publishing. So you wanna click on that to open that email. And as you can see, there's a verify your email button inside the email, which you wanna click on. And that will redirect you back to Activision and log you into your account. And from here, you can even click on your profile and check out your Activision profile and do whatever you need to do inside Activision. Now, like I mentioned, from inside your account, you can go ahead and link your PlayStation account, Xbox account, your Steam account, whatever account you want to link, you can do that from inside the Activision account. And that's basically how to create and verify your Activision account. Thanks for watching. You can leave your comments and questions down below. Don't forget to share and subscribe for more tips. Until the next one, my name is Chris, and I'll talk to you guys soon.